What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warrior Aviator Sin Super Rap bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today we are doing another awesome tutorial for you guys because I have my sword, it's newly painted and I kind of want to do a video today because you know, I've been locked inside for the past two weeks now so nothing better to do. So, what we're going to be doing is an awesome sword tutorial because obviously I have a sword and as always I need you guys to be very safe when practicing this sword trick because this sword trick is extremely dangerous and not for beginners so please be careful wherever you are in your backyards and stay safe just like you know you normally would when practicing a sword so we can be safe but now let's run that intro Alright guys, so before we get into the trick, I suggest doing this with either a nerf sword or maybe even just a stick that you can find around somewhere just because this is a very dangerous trick, like I said before, but you know I don't do that. It's because you're in the danger zone <sighs> from Top Gun. I'm going to use my sword. Oops. So this trick is going to be focusing on catching the sword behind your head just like that. Now, this is obviously a very dangerous trick and... One prerequisite for this trick is actually uh, I did in another video, and it's the horizontal or the vertical toss where you take your sword and toss it and catch it just like this. This is the basis for this trick. The only difference is you're doing this out to your side. Now, when you hold it, you're not gonna wanna hold it directly by your side because when you toss it, you don't want it to hit your head for obvious reasons. So what you're going to do is you're gonna hold it slightly behind your back. This is my angle, this is my side, I'm gonna hold it slightly behind my back so that when I toss it, it flips on this side of me instead of directly coming at me just like that. So, once you have it behind your back, you're going to wanna to toss it. Now, instead of doing the circle in front of you, you're gonna to wanna to move that spin. You're gonna to wanna to move that spin behind your back so that the handle hits behind your head. Now, this may take a couple different tries. Uh, to figure out, you know, how your sword's weighted and how um, your toss is and how to fi find the pressure that you need to put into your toss and all that stuff. But your goal is to try it until you can get the handle of the sword behind your head. And I'll show you the toss in a second. But first, you need to know how to catch it. Now, you're going to take your hand and you're going to want to put it palm up behind your head. This is how you're going to want to catch your left hand palm up and behind your head just like this. This allows the sword to fall into your hand and allow you to grab it instead of simply trying to grab it out of midair and that almost never works. That's in incredibly hard to do. So instead of making it hard on yourself for no reason, simply turn your hand palm up and expect it to fall straight into your hand. All together, it's gonna look something like this. Add some flair to it you can add a back fist at the moment you catch your sword it adds a little bit of flair and a little bit of uh, you know flashiness to it but it also allows it also requires a lot of practice and timing so be careful when you're trying it because obviously you don't want to you know shoot, cut yourself or hit yourself in the head and even if you're using just a stick tossing a stick at your head kind of sucks so just be careful no matter how you're practicing this and remember this is a more advanced trick uh for people who want to learn sword tricking so if you haven't been training and if you if this is your first video of mine that you're watching welcome to the channel but don't do this trick do some of the other ones that i've shown in the past and i'll leave links to the playlist of all of the different tutorials i've done over the years if you are interested but until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and share it if you enjoyed it because I really, really would like it. I would super appreciate it because, uh, you know, this is kind of what I do. So, um, thank you. <laughs> Until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.